So I'd still like her just a little faster if you can get it, because that looks more like a trail walk. Yep, that's okay. So whatever you're doing, just use less of it. So make your circle. Yep. So she kind of jumps and then she goes too fast. I would shorten your reins. That's a better speed. Yep. So you'll have to kind of play around with your breathing, how much you're half halting and how much you're using your legs. Yep, you're still doing good with the steering because I know what she feels like when she drifts. <laughs> There you go. That's a better speed again. Keep going. Cheryl on Sassy. She's doing great. So she's working at her flat walk. The hard part is again, the arenas are slanted. So sometimes it's going up, sometimes it's going down and you have to be able to adjust your horse's gait. So they stay in gait, you know? So sometimes you gotta slow down or speed up to keep that same speed. And sometimes if that footing is really changing what gait your horse is doing, then you gotta usually slow down to keep the same footfall and then speed them back up once you get out of that uh, footing or out of the incline or decline. So. Everybody thinks this looks so easy, just walking around, gating, like a piece of cake. It's not. You've got to constantly keep adjusting your horse, and she's doing a phenomenal job. Doing really good. Now we have jumper footing in here. It's not walking horse footing. <laughs> so that makes it more difficult for us. So see, now it's going downhill. This horse can get a little hoppy in her gait, like she hops to her other feet. So told her to go as fast as she wants, but to try to keep it smooth and not where it's bouncing. That looks good. Does it feel pretty smooth? Not too bad. Okay. If it's bouncy, then just slow it down a little bit. So we're practicing our speed. Sometimes she gets hopping a little bit and her feet get closer together and then it's a little bit bouncier. We want it as smooth as we can get it. So in here, she doesn't hit a hard pace or anything. It just gets rougher. So I told Cheryl to go a little slower. That looks better to me. Oh, stay a little slower because now I see more movement in the saddle. So you can see she's not pacing. It just is a little bit choppier there. But that looks better to me. It doesn't look like you're bouncing. And again, you're like, she's bouncing? She was before, but the horse started going more, which she just did. Um, a little bit more towards like a step pace. She was still shaking her head, but it gets choppy because she's kind of flinging her feet. And for trail, we just didn't like that as much. But some people, like in the show ring, it's very showy, but you know, they got bad back. So that looks good. We want to make it as smooth as we can. And so we stopped her when she was doing the right thing. Yep. Be careful there. Be careful there. It looks like it's getting bouncy again. So she's getting her smoother. We slowed her down a little bit. It's hard to see with the sun. And everywhere it goes downhill, wherever she went, 
um, we've slowed it down some. Because remember, you're a trail rider and they're hopping foot to foot. Um, what else is going to happen is you're moving so much in the saddle, you're really going to get chafing. So you'd rather keep it as smooth as you can. And these guys have the rocking back and forth, so you also want to make sure your saddle's small enough. You don't move around too much or you have sheepskin in there too. That looks good. There, there it looks a little jerky.